Have you had much time to play with the new game and the new Link? And the... Not really. This okay. is, uh, today's been my first real experience with it. I've been playing pretty much every version of Super Smash since it came out, but Ultimate is this whole new animal, which is something that I think harkens more back to Melee than anything. This is something that uh, I've, t I've noticed in that the game feels a little bit quicker and bringing in a little bit more of the mechanics that sort of Brawl and uh, Smash 4 kind of uh, did or went away from. That's right. It, it really has taken sort of uh, the pace of that's a little bit of a mix between what you saw with Super Smash Brothers on Wii U and Super Smash Brothers Melee, as you mentioned. It's a little bit faster than the Wii U version. The uh, the characters have all been rebalanced for to uh, match that new speed. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, right off the edge. There I go. <laughs> um, and of course, some of the characters have you know some are new costumes. Here you see Link's uh, bombs, which are new. I don't even know how to trigger that one. Uh, you would have to, there you go. Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah. so it's, B, it's down B again. Okay, That's right. I got it, I got it. Yeah, and I don't know if you noticed, I picked up the uh, the arrow that you shot and uh, and was able to then hit you with that. No kidding, let me see that. Let's see. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Use, use it back on you again. Of course, uh, if you're Link, you can, and you shoot an arrow and miss, you can pick it up and then shoot uh, two arrows at once. No kidding. I'm going to yeah. have to try to pull that off later in this one. Oh, nice. Why did we feel that it was time now to bring back everybody for the ultimate version? Why was the ultimate version the dream for Mr. Sakurai? Well, I think, you know, with uh, the 3DS and the Wii U version, there were some characters that they had to uh, leave out. Um, and I, for him, he really just wanted to, oh, I had to sacrifice myself. Oh. That, he really wanted to make this the ultimate version and bring back the full roster, um, as well as a lot of the stages that you've seen. This. Uh, obviously, uh, first appeared in Super Smash Brothers Melee on Nintendo GameCube, uh, being the Rainbow Cruise stage. So it, it was just a desire to see everybody back together and to bring back characters that people had liked in the past, but for one reason or another weren't able to make it for the last versions. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So we talked a little bit about characters. Are the, is there a past stage that you're super excited to see back in this game? Oh, well, I think Fountain of Dreams has always been, oh, and there you go. Fountain of Dreams has been a, a you know one of my favorites from the GameCube game, uh, but I've also always been a big fan of Peach's Castle from yeah. not Melee, but from the N64 game. Oh, There's yeah. up in the sky and it's got the platform that goes kind of left to right. Uh, yeah. The other thing I really like has just been the use of the characters in the game, the way they start the matches off in kind of silhouette with the uh, boom, boom. You get the kind of the characters up there on screen. It's, it really adds to the drama of the matches and I think it's a, it's a nice touch as well. Yeah, a lot. Oh, this is you Ooh. actually. Uh-oh. Do me proud, Jigglypuff. Oh, Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one of my favorite classic stages. Yes, I remember this stage. This is from 64, I believe. Yeah. All right, I'll let you try and do this so I don't, I won't distract you. <laughs> we need Jiggly. That's fantastic that the Pokemon are still 8-bit. I know. <laughs> oh, Chansey. Very helpful. Oh. Got a little overconfident there. Yeah, I gotta say the CPUs aren't the easiest <laughs> when you're unlocking characters. They'll give you a run for your money. There, there it is. Go. Very nice. <laughs> 